welcome to the channel. Today I am in the wonderful island of Bali in the middle of Indonesia. And together with two cameras, I will explore the island and I will review these two cameras, Leica AQ2 and Sony RX1R. These are two full frame cameras and they are just wonderful to have when you are travel like I am doing this week. So come into the channel and listen to the review. Welcome. The cameras is just wonderful to hold on. They are so small and that means that both cameras is perfect to travel with. You can have them in a different environment and they have a fixed lens and that means that you cannot take away the lens at all. Uh, it is big huge difference between these cameras and I will talk about each camera a little bit and I will talk about the difference with these two cameras. in the middle of Bali and in the back here you see this big big mountain we are in a in the restaurant here and uh, I will take some photos with both cameras in this environment that is just that magical to see this is all the rice field when I unpack the Leica camera and read the manual in less than two hours I'm in the camera understand the few buttons that's there and can start to photo shooting and I think that's amazing then I have to dig into the menu and do certain things in the menu so it fits what I would like to do with the camera uh, and when I do exactly the same with Sony, it's much more a button, it's much more things to do with the camera and that confusing me a lot. So I don't really understand what button is for what kind of purpose. So from, from, from my perspective, it takes much, much longer to get into the Sony camera than compares to the, to the, uh, to, to the Leica camera. I'm being more comfortable with a Leica camera when it comes to technique. And one major thing is actually the batteries. <laughs> this is this is the Leica's battery. And this is Sony battery. It means you have to have a bunch with batteries with you if you do the street photography, landscape photography for just one day. Here you can have one more extra I mean one in the camera and one extra with you and that's it. I have I think eight or ten of these when I do the Sony street photography or landscape photography and it's not good. It's not good at all and I don't understand why Sony didn't produce better batteries or bigger batteries than this. For me it's a joke. It's a real joke. actually so when it comes from a technical to a technical perspective uh, there is less buttons on the Leica and it's much more easier from my perspective to learn what's in it for me when I take photos with Leica when it comes to the Leica camera it much less buttons the menu here is it's easy to understand, much easier than the Sony camera, I think. In the menu, it's easy to go with the menu. And the screen is uh, touchable, it's not in the Sony. And I can easily see here what kind of menu I would like to get into and easily 
manure. I think this one is a little bit more easier to to use than the Sony camera. And as I said before, it's much, much more faster from the unpacked moment until I can actually start. When it comes to the Sony camera, uh, the screen is it's really good because you can flip it, flop it like this, and that's really, really handy. But when it comes to the Sony camera, it's too much of buttons. You don't know where to go, when to go, and it's not natural to do everything with your thumb like that. Uh, this is uh, the time, this is the aperture, uh, sorry, this is the ISO, and the aperture is in the front of the camera here. Uh, and it's so much of things you have to push on before you can take your picture. And that means it takes a long time before you can take your picture. And that's not that's not my style. When I do the street photography, I would like to take photos in the moment, not struggling with everything. Else. Now I am back home and from Bali. I'm in, uh, in I'm in Sweden actually. The neighbor is here. It's a lot of snow here, <laughs> and it's a big difference between Bali, 33 degrees Celsius to this five, six, seven degrees Celsius. But when it comes to the Sony camera, the Sony camera it's much more complicated to use <laughs> when it comes to the lens they both fixed lens in both Leica Q2 and the Sony camera in the Sony camera there is a call size sonar 2 slash 35 millimeters in the Leica camera Q2 there is a 28 millimeter lens and uh, I think that's it's real good for landscape photography it's uh, it's a real good lens i think and it takes really really nice pictures compared to sony it's a little bit more softer when it comes to picture itself the colors in the leica camera is really good it's down to earth so to say and it's very very natural both the Leica camera and the Sony camera, they have, when you look in the viewfinder like this, they have a green line, so you easily can see the horizontal line. But you will see, the cameras, if I put them like this, they are quite small and the same. And the wonderful thing with the cameras is that they are full frame cameras. What I discovered when I was in Bali with the Leica camera is the battery. The battery is big, I admit that, it's really big, it's like this one. And uh, this one will, I think it, uh, it will long for a day or so. And it's really, really nice. So I have just two batteries with me. One that is in the camera and the other one that I'm uh, loaded with power. But exactly as in the Hasselblad camera, it's getting a little bit too warm. So when I hold the camera like, like this here, here's the battery, uh, the camera starts to be a little bit warm. And I think in the Nordic countries, that's no problem. But when I go to Bali, there is a really hot weather and it's uh, 30 plus degrees Celsius. I can start to feel it's a little bit hot. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's one of, of the thing I think not as too good with this camera as well how to say it but it's it is expensive and you pay for the name and for the red dot so that's a fact when it comes to the Sony Sony take fantastic pictures a little bit more sharpen uh, and I can like that for the street photography uh, I don't use this one for 
landscape photography. So this one will be only for street photography. It's a little bit smaller, not that heavy to hold on, and maybe it's a little bit too small. I really like the, the screen, but I don't like this one, the viewfinder. And as I talked about before, I don't like the small, small, small battery. It's one more thing that differs these two cameras, and it takes a little while before you know it. In here, I can put a microphone, a small microphone, and that's really good if I would like to do videos like this. In Leica, there is no microphone to put in. So what do I recommend then? If you go for the landscape photography and a mix of street photography, I will definitely go with the Leica. I will say it takes a little bit better picture, it's a little bit it's really sharp and it's a little bit smoother pictures and it's more easier to use as a camera thank you very much for look at this episode